could be 10 years and even a testimonial by, by the end of it. Did you ever think that was possible when you did when you did something? that far. The only my mum and dad would turn up. <laughs> So, things are going pretty well at the moment at United? Yeah, going well. You know, we're improving each day, each game. Yeah, we've just, we just done what we needed to do and, and, and game by game you could see us improving and, and see us creating more chances and defending better and, and, and yeah, it's, look, it's looking bright and we're looking forward to the games ahead. You seem to have come a long way in, in just a couple of months. What do you think changed? I think it's just that the managers come in and, and wanted us to play and play with freedom and just express ourselves and, and, and do what each player does best. And, um, you know, it's no, it's no rocket science. Uh, we work on patterns of play and how he wants to play against different opposition, and how we're going to exploit different different teams. Different teams pose different threats, and it's been great. It's, it's been it's been a breath of fresh air. You mentioned challenging for the league, and that's something Ollie's mentioned a lot as well. How far do you think you are from doing that next season? What do you think the team needs? I genuinely don't think we're far away. I think we've got a really good squad. I think we've got exciting players coming through. We've got. Um, a good mix of youth and, and experience and you can see the way we're playing, teams fear us again, teams don't want to play us again and, and yeah, slowly but surely we're, we're getting back to our best and, and we're still learning, we're still improving but we'll get there. You've just signed a new contract but in terms of that, that talk of bringing in new players, you must have survived that quite a lot, talking in the press about you know, I want this centre back or other, you're there going, well, what's my role, how, how do you cope with that? The way I see it is it's just like when I signed. We're Man United, of course we're going to be attracted to the best players in the world and I'd be disappointed if we weren't. I want to win things as well. So it might sound very cliche, but we're always going to attract the best players because everyone wants to play for Man United. It's, 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 it's like when I signed, it's, that's how the club works and the club runs. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I embrace the challenge and, um, and I look forward to it. With that new contract, could be 10 years and even a testimonial. By, by the end of it. Did you ever think that was possible when you did when you did Won't go that far. The only mum and dad would turn up. <laughs> when you talk about getting pro contracts, I've all, I was never the guy who got talked about as this guy is going to be the best player, the next best thing. I was always the guy who just managed to get one and you know went under the radar a bit. And then the next minute, I play in the first team, and the lads who were who were you know tipped to be the next best thing are you know working in an office. You say that about not, never being tipped to be the big one, but I remember Ferguson, did he not say you were was it the best player since Duncan? Yeah, bar that one. <laughs> you look back at what people have said and, and said about you, then then yeah, you do you do realise that it was, you know, it was a, a, such a good comment and maybe it did put me under a bit of pressure, but at the time I didn't feel like it did. I'm trying to work out a way to ask you about all the memes about the faces you pull when you're defending. Um, does, do you, I, I guess you see them. Is that just is that yeah, just laugh? Is yeah. that just dressing room stuff? Oh, it's banter. My mate, my mates banter me all the time about it. It is, it is what it is. I'm I'm not I'm not too fussed about it either. You know, my mates send me pictures every single night on the WhatsApp group taking the mick out of me. So um, yeah, it's, it's banter. It is what it is. In terms of the FA Cup, you know that that's a, a big goal for United this season, having beaten Arsenal and Chelsea away. Do you think you've got what it takes to to go all the way with that, with that kind of confidence? Definitely, we've. We've got the squad, we've got the team, um, you know, we're playing well at the minute. Um, you know, that's the aim, to, to win that cup. It'd be nice to win it for us, the fans, and, and, and yeah, the manager as well. It'd be, it'd be great. You know, we're under no illusions that it's, we're just going to get there just because we're Man United. We have, to, we have to earn the right to get there. You have had a bit of criticism at times at United. How, how has it been to, to deal with that in some of the, the tougher seasons, not just for you, but you know, with some of the previous managers where it has been difficult? I, I, I'm lucky. I'm lucky enough that that I'm, I'm strong mentally. That you know, it, it generally doesn't bother me. And you know, I have a wonderful family, wonderful friends. I have a little girl now, and I don't care what people say. People can make their own opinions up. Ultimately, I've got another contract at United, and you know, I've I've been there for eight, nine years now. And um, you know, I've won the Premier League. I've played. I've played in two World Cups. Been to two World Cups. Uh, been to a Euros. Uh, played in the Champions League. You know, won the Europa League, the FA Cup. So, you know, people can people can talk, but ultimately they're, they're the stats, and that's what I've done.